gentlemen, will you please welcome Mr. Phil K. What's your name? What's your favourite ocean? Smashing! Brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite stroke? Mine's the best stroke. Well, breaststroke, backstroke. Well, breaststroke, stroke, backstroke. Backstroke, <laughs> crawl. <laughs> I'm sure there's a funny way to do that. I know there is. You know, I'm searching for it. I can see it. You know. Wash your hair often, madam? Yeah. How often? Every day. Every day. And, and you wear similar clothing to friends? <laughs> <laughs> is, are you both aquamarine sisters? Are you, is, let's, let's recreate the Levi advert. Come on! Come on! Swim for the earth! Should we do that? Because they look like mermaids, don't they? Should we do that? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm the, my, I'm the guy, right? I'm unconscious. I bang, he bangs his head quite hard in it, doesn't he? But I'll bang my head and you have to come in like that, all like that, with these, with these sort of genetically enhanced bosoms that sort of, you can't really look at, come on! You know, and then you have to try and undo my clothing and then kiss me. Cool! <laughs> come on then! <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, so you ready? And you lot, you're the ocean, okay, so you do the seaweed, you're all the seaweed, okay? If they do that, and then, so you come in, you come in and fix, are you asking permission? <laughs> <laughs> The beefy boss. Right, anyway. So you two come out, lovely swirling around, swimming things, putting your hands by your... Do they have hands? Yeah. yeah they have hands. It's legs they don't have. <laughs> Fish from the waist up. <laughs> not, not so exciting, is it, for the sailor? Oh, oh! Look at the gills on that. Anyway. <laughs> So I'm going to, in slow motion, I'm sinking down to the water, I'm going to bash my head, you two skipping around beautifully, you come over uh, and I'm barely conscious and you're, you're feeling my body and you're trying to undo my, you're trying to undo my things, I'll help them, I'll, I'll do them. I'll... <laughs> in fact, there'll be no problem there. <laughs> not so hard, not so hard. Uh, and this is kind of like the continuation, like the Nescafe advert, this goes to the next stage. <laughs> Cut that out, really. Please, Mr. Editor. Um, so, sorry. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, so, so I fall over, I bang my head, a new lot uh, come running in like mermaids, uh, a bit of kissing, caressing, and try to rouse me. I wake up, and then you run away. And it's brilliant, we see it. Okay, so ready? Do we know seaweed and music, please? Do you remember the music? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> They often have hosepipe bands in Britain. I don't know if you know this, they have hosepipe bands. You know, you can walk your garden as much as you want. Just you're not allowed to use a hosepipe. Uh, <laughs> people were pressing against the tap really hard. <laughs> so um, where I was, I don't know if anyone's been to Australia. Uh, if you've been to Australia, go like this. <laughs> and, and if you go over there, this is an amazing thing. Because say you go to the toilet in Britain, right? Hands up. How many flushing choices do you get when you're in Britain? How many? Two. In Britain? Yeah. Wow. 
Ah, 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 and that's just, that's like human technique. That's like, <laughs> no, you can't do that for a wee one, can you? Well, I mean, when do you know when to stop? You know what I mean? Do you stop as it's pouring or do you have to anticipate? But the thing about, no, I, I agree you can do a technical, technically fucking hell. <laughs> Professor of bloody n n s, s Ben Pedantics. <laughs> I'll be majoring in exact plumbing. <laughs> I'll be taking precision plug course. So what's the average uh, millimetre width of B&Q plug? <laughs> no, there, but there is only one basic mechanism, right? And you'll agree it's that. And often it's behind you, you know. Sometimes, sometimes I flush on just to get a kind of woo-hoo. Uh, <laughs> Because, you know, sometimes you go, you go for a shit and you wipe your arse, right? And then you sort of, you know, you wipe again, and then you look at the paper and you think, well, there's a wee bit of brown there. But I'm not sure if it's enough to merit another full wipe, you know? <laughs> you sort of go, you sell it. <laughs> but, you know, so you've got this flush mechanism, but in Australia they actually have two buttons, which is like a, a big one which has a full circle above it, and then a little one which has a half circle above it. So you can have a full flush or a half flush. <laughs> it's so boggling, it's brilliant. And, then, and so you go in and if you do a shit, then obviously you do a full flush, you know, mm. I've earned it. You know, <laughs> it's a lot. I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> but if you just do a wee tinkle, tinkle, pee, or, or then you just use a half flush, right? But there's no one right in there regulating to tell you what to do. <laughs> so my personal best was eight and a half flushes, full flushes, for, for no pee at all. <laughs> so I was in there like, oh, what a long, big shit I'm having. Flush, flush and a half, 2.5. Oh, personal best. <laughs> And then one day I was doing that, and the bloody who comes in? The water police. They burst in the cubicle, the door flying open, just barely, just barely missing my knees like that. <laughs> so they burst in, and I got arrested and had to prove, and there was no sign of shite, so I, so I couldn't get off. So now I go around with a little, an ex, it's an old cigar case carrying little bit, little brown bits of winnets of shit, you know. And I can do as many flashes as I want, and when the police burst in, I just dropped a little floater in there, you know, as a wee sign. Quite clever. Cook impersonation, who's this? It's you. <laughs> So the history of mankind, a uh, man has thought to be clean, hygienic, uh, ablutions has been an important thing, and always when you go to the toilet, that you, you dry your hands afterwards. Now, there are a number of methods of drying hands, and no one's firmly established which is the best, most efficient, and speedy. And tonight, I have the ultimate test, the dryathon challenge. <laughs> Where we finally put to rest the, the ludicrous claim to the hand dryers, quicker than a roller, quicker than a Harris towel, quicker than a... We finally put it to rest with our 24 hour... Oh yeah. 24 hour um, dryathon marathon, like Le, Le Mans, but for hands. Um, so, what I must do is, uh, I need, I'm going to take the four in the front row, if, I, if you don't mind. So, what I'm going to do is wet your hands, and at the start of the, uh, at the, start of the challenge, you're going to run up with your chosen method, dry, and get back only when you're fully dry. And I'm going to do a squeak test afterwards. <laughs> the funny thing is, they say that the, the hand dryers are going to replace the, the tissue. It's r rubbish, rubbish. It'll never happen. Because, you know, like, when you're drying your arse, you're wiping your arse, it just cakes into a really hard crusty... <laughs> it's like... Ooh. So what I'm going to do is wet you, wet your hands and face, you're going to dry in your chosen method, get back and I'll do the squeak test. And the winner will be... Um, my God, will satisfy our, our desire to know which was the best. Front and back, good thinking, man. Now in your face, <laughs> face your face. Face first, face first. Do you wash your face often? Oh, is, are you bad? Is it, are you learning to wash it? Keep your eyes closed. Right, hands, hands, hold your hands out. Hand your face again, hands. Back in front, back in front. Face, are you okay? Are you okay with this? Sorry. I know the first bit's really shocking, isn't it? Then you kind of get used to it, and it's quite cool. And then after that, it's like a pistol. Anyway, hands, hands down, hands down, hands down. Don't, no drying the spray, keep it going. Face, sir, face, sir, that's good. Listen, that's lovely, Brian, lovely. <laughs> hands, 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 hands. Crotch area, crotch area, hands. <laughs> So oh, everyone's wet. Now on your marks, get, start your engines, please, sir. And on the count of, we'll count down from 15, okay? <laughs> no, 17, 17, okay? 17, 16, 15, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, sorry, no. And the, the hand hasn't started yet. Nothing's happened now. She's wiping her face and moisture's flying off indeed. My goodness me, she doesn't know where to pull it. Pull it. Can you pull it once? Thank you, thank you, thank you. The dryer's going well. The towel, you can take the towel. 
she claims to be first, number three, number two, number one, four. Right, now it's time for the squeaky test. Who will be the... Look at that, first of all, you filthy cow. <laughs> 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 The towel, the towel of Turin. <laughs> have you, have you seen this shirt? Is it makeup? It's all off. It's you. You are ugly. Whoa! <laughs> it was awful. Back on. Get it back on. <laughs> put it back on. Please put it back on the beast. I created a nightmare. <laughs> I will wear this hat. Blink. I can't get to sleep. I'll never get to sleep with this on. <laughs> oh, no. wow. They're heavier than, they're heavier than you think. Um, a lot of these uh, hand drying methods are quite lightweight. Um, so you claim to be first. I'm going to do the, the dry test. I can actually already see a lot of moisture here. Not even, I don't even have to do it. I'm sorry. Have I squeaky clean? Dry so far. I can see moisture on your forehead, not even a bit. There is. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> one last bit of air for you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is. Yeah. The full pool method! <laughs> Just basically can't see it um, being any other way, and I, and I know that I want. I mean, I do want it to be, but I, I, st I still definitely feel like I want you to be happy. I don't want you to be unhappy. It's, it's gone beyond that. It's too late. It's just too late. It, it can't be because. Water, I said, I've been tagged. You got any nuts? Magic dry roast, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, peanut butter. Mm, yes, peanut butter. Just lap it on your lips. And see, that's why Alan's got such a bad time. I mean, here am I. <laughs> here am I, deserted on a maroon island. <laughs> Um, but it's fine. I mean, honestly, it gets a bad deal, but there's plenty to do on Desert Island. I mean, I've got my own egg timer business. And... <laughs> and <laughs> That's lovely. You can do, you can do, you know, you know although, mind you, I, I'm planning, right? I'm planning on being rescued. I'm planning on being rescued. I'm, I'm ready for my rescue. When the rescue comes, I've got my keys ready. Because I don't want to be rescued without my keys. <laughs> we don't be off, we get rescued, go all the way home. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, ticka 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 would you mind what? My keys, forgot my keys! Yes, I forgot his keys, forgot his keys, I forgot his keys, oh, come to the dark side. Ooh! Anyway. You have forgotten your keys, Luke, for them. <laughs> Did you look for them? <laughs> Again, do you more? <laughs> Oops! Oh. Damn! It's lovely. What do you call that? Watch out! <laughs> chuck it here, chuck it. What do you call that? Is that officially a beach ball? Oh, there's another one! Oh, brilliant! That's for that's for driving with the car seats when you've got this terrible hemorrhoids. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> or it's a little perfect little thing, so you can be on your desert island and you've got, you've got, you go, well, I don't want to, I, I don't want to, if I put that down, it's going to roll off! It's going to roll off! Here's your beach retainer. <laughs> Anything else from the island? I'm, un I'm understocked on the island. Wait a minute! Oh, ha 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 ha! What am I gonna do? Salt water? Oh, drooping kill! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Hang on! Oh no! It's fine, it's fine! Oh, I've lost me. Oh, where, is this for washing your clothes? <laughs> is that the thing you put in? What's that? Yeah. Is it, it's made from? 
<laughs> Scrotums of Italian men? Is it really made of that? It certainly feels like it. Madam, close your eyes and just imagine Benny Dorn. Close your eyes, imagine Benny Dorn. Hey, how are you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a ball receiver. The testicles simply go in here and, a, and the sharp turbine movement will clean the testicles, <laughs> by God. No more customs stopping you at, for cheese importing in your... <laughs> Um, have we got anything else? Good for an island? Oh my god! These are nice. Don't like them! <laughs> What's this? What's this? It's huge big... These are the hemorrhoids I was talking about. <laughs> I cannot believe it. <laughs> Just imagine someone tuning in now. <laughs> I mean, that is so filthy, isn't it? <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! I am in it! <laughs> so, uh... So living on an island, obviously you're deprived of everything. You know, you're on your own. You just got to make make what you can out of what you've got. You know, and um, if you lose something, you know, it's you're probably just so, it's usually behind the tree. <laughs> Where's my? Oh, shit. Uh, so, so it is not. But you're you're deprived. You're socially deprived. Um, you're deprived of the society of other people. Uh, and one of the worst things I can imagine is getting a message in a bottle and just saying, you know, ha ha, I'm with tons of folk. <laughs> <laughs> or you know, you just go, what's this? You're in sample. I don't know. Um, <laughs> But when you, when you go into a flotation tank, I don't know if anyone's ever done a flotation tank, then you get sensory deprivation. So you're in, you're in a society, but you're restricting yourself within it to something special. And I don't know if anyone's done a flotation tank, but it's a beautiful thing. It's like a, a pyramid about sort of eight feet in diameter, so nothing to challenge the Egypt's great pyramids. <laughs> um, and you're inside it, and it's got about a foot and a half of water in it, and it's salty, warm, saline solution, very salty, so it's as dense almost as your own body. So you lie and you float in it. And they have these underwater speakers, and it's beautiful and calm, and you're floating, and there's no pressure in any part of your body. You can't hear much uh, through the earplugs, but they play this music really well. You can get like a, kind of dolphins, or uh, <clears throat> you get the sound of whales. I chose the sound of whales. It's beautiful under the water. You, I can just hear this. Ooh, you, ooh, ooh, Gareth, ooh. <laughs> How is the, the castle, the singing, ooh, in the call, the cool, call on our rugby team, terrible and terrible. <laughs> Makes me want to blow water out my head. Ooh. Now, as we can clearly see in the diagram, the first thing fell six four minutes to settle. After that, we can achieve optimum flush at 30 psi, at 31 psi in Chad. Good. Now, next week, I will be discussing international plug chain treaties. Thank you. Uh, yes, I do often go to the old swimming baths near me, and it's a beautiful sight um, uh, because it's used um, often, you know, after about 11 o'clock, all the people have gone to work and stuff, so it's usually used by just older ladies. And on a Thursday uh, afternoon, they have a granny's do up your blouse. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you have a good, sorry, beg your pardon. You have, uh, sorry, uh, beg your um, Force them together to create one breast. Um, <laughs> Funny, oh, funny, fa funny, funny enough. <laughs> Just imagine you swimming, you know, um, and then following. Um, <laughs> so often, what was the problem? Did it, did it burst out? Was it, was it like the dam busters? Ding, 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 ding. Was it, did it burst under, under, or was he? No. <laughs> what happened? Talk us through it. <laughs> Just calm down. Cool. I'm not going to make a bloody Moby Dick novel out of it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Land ahoy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> steady. Um, with, no, with the old ladies. You go in and it's granny, what it is, is on Thursdays, Thursday morning, 11 to 12, they have granny takes granddaughter or grandson to the bath. It's a brilliant thing. So um, all these granny, lovely grandmothers are in the pool with their young uh, kids and they're singing. I don't know if you know, but in municipal pools, common sort of community pools, they have this uh, special dye that they put in the pool that if you urinate, um, it causes a big blue cloud to come out. <laughs> and I'm standing up above this pool, looking down in this pool of all, all these old grannies swimming around with their old, all, all their little granddaughters. And they're all slightly incontinent, you know. So from, from above, it's like, it's like the red arrows display. It's fantastic. <laughs> Each other. Just for a second. They go, oh, 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 oh.
Um, I'm getting a bit... I've, I don't know if you noticed, i got some uh, blood, sweat, gravy and cum uh, all over my... <laughs> all over my trousers. quite hard to get out. I thought I'd give them a quick wash. Now, um, I haven't got time during a show to do, to do a quick wash. I thought I'd just... I thought a quicker way to do it. Um, <clears throat> I, thought, I, thought I'd, I thought I'd think of a quicker way to do it. And I'd put some, some stuff on me um, and, 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 then, and then get slightly wet. And then, then I could just do some somersaults and tumble dry myself. So it'd save a lot of time. <laughs> Right, uh, that seems to have taken out most of the initial staining. Um, um, let me get the water. Oh, yes. I think that got it. No, I'm so angry with that. Oh, tell you what really annoys me. Damn it. No, oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Damn it. So let's take it out. Is that most of the stains gone? Um, the blood, sweat, the gravy, and the cum gone. A rinse. Oh, here we are. Right, the rinse. I know it's like in the old days. The old days. But you didn't have, you didn't have washing machines in the old days. You'd have to wash the thing and then on the rocks. Anyway, so that's, um, so that's that mostly dry. Uh, now, of course, uh, the, one thing, uh, the one thing that every, you know, desert island... <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> uh, just imagine that clamminess. <laughs> oh, mo oh, dirty. Um, so that's it. it is actually quite dry, this. Uh, it's funny. It's, uh, it's actually the clothes that you, they use in movies. You know, when, when guys like, uh, often someone like Tom Cruise, or Mel Gibson! <laughs> Often something like Tom Cruise or Mel Gibson, the kind of guy that's attracted, um, is attractive to idiots. Um, <laughs> joking. Um, um, no, something like Mel Gibson or Tom Cruise, they'll fall in some water and then they come out and it's, they're just completely dry. And it's cool. And these are the kind of clothes they wear. They're, that's, that's them. Naturally, after, you know, after you, jump, you come out of the ocean in your movie, you come back on your island and all you're waiting for is, you know, basically to get rescued and get away. And it always, um, always amuses me when I'm <clears throat> at the end of a, an episode of Fantasy Island. The plane, the plane! That was mine! That was mine! I was going to do that next, I promise, I hadn't thought of it! But I was going to do it better, you know. <clears throat> <laughs> I can't remember it, can you remember it? You know, do you know when you, can you do an impersonation you've never done before and you suddenly do it and it comes from and it comes out and it goes they play, they play. It's not quite right, is it? You know what I mean? Um, all you want is, is to be taken off the island and, and go back to your loved ones. And it's perhaps a spell on the desert island we all need. No. Um, it's a spell on the desert island we all need to, to, to know who we really love and who we miss and who we'd want to go away from and who we don't want to go away from. And, and all I want is to be... Oh, my God! They're here! They're over here! Over here! What's that? Oh yeah, I know I'm soaking. I won't make a mess in the helicopter. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. What do you mean you want to wait? The ladder! You're saying that the ladder! I'm going to go to freedom! Yeah. Come back! I'm off! I'm going! Bye bye! Oh my keys! My keys! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna draw a pocket for them. Goodbye, Ireland! Goodbye! Thanks for everything! Thanks for my thanks for my lovely family. I love you, I'll miss you. See you later. Watch out! Bye bye, Ireland! You've had a laugh, now prepare for chills, hammer horror style. The undead are stretching their legs in search of blood. Lust for a vampire is next on call.